Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, really quick, uh, here's the video. We're gonna go do some commercial walkthrough today with bidding, lawn, and landscaping. Okay, so I'm preparing our commercial quotes for a couple new sites. So we actually have four new commercial sites that uh, sign up with Snow and they all want lawn care and including the place where I bought my four wheeler. So we have five places to go bid today. Uh, we got three to six inches of snow coming over tonight. So it's gonna be really difficult to bid these in the next week or two because Lord knows when that snow is gonna melt off. Here's what I wanna do is just kind of show you guys the difference between bidding a site on Google Maps and Google Earth or Yardbook, which is great and getting all your measurements and then the difference is seeing the site in person. Always walk your sites. Uh, we've got our commercial contract and template here. A lot of you guys saw the video that we uh, did about a year or two ago bidding a site together. I'll leave that at the end of this video if you guys wanna walk through exactly how to bid a site. So here's the contract. We're writing it all out, figuring out all of our seasonal mow price, our weeding, mulch, spring cleanup, uh, flowers, fur, irrigation, all that mess. Uh, you can get these at launchpreneuracademy.com if you guys want the contract. Uh, so let's hop out really quick and we'll check out the rest of the site. All right, so we're already here tackling the first property. This is a big site for us. You've got all of these beds that are just crazy caked with leaves. It's gonna be a big spring cleanup. Um, but here's one thing, uh, a prime example I wanna talk about for just a quick minute. When you go on Google Earth, it's just gonna show this as flat land, right? There's this huge berm, this huge divot that's just gonna be caked with water. Uh, somebody's gonna have to trim around all this mess. A bunch of rock here with the uh, drainage. Uh, so if you're like, oh, this is like two acres of flat mowing or an acre of flat mowing. Well, on Google Earth, yes. In real life, no. So maybe that's 75 to 90 an acre or whatever you guys got for your mow price. Uh, and you're just gonna blaze through this. Maybe, maybe. Or it needs to be 90 to 110 an acre when you got a bunch of trimming and weird stuff like this, which I don't know what happened here. Um, another thing too, these, these tree rings, right? You might look at Google Earth and you see 10 trees here. Are the beds mulched? Are the beds not mulched? That's the kind of stuff I want to talk to you guys about uh, on this video. So we're gonna look at all the shrubs here. We're gonna do a quick little walk around. Let's take you guys with us. So for example, this whole mulch bed, right? We're gonna mulch this whole thing the whole way down, but we gotta clean it all up first. And this is gonna take a lot of effort, right? So this is all leaves. Clearly somebody didn't do a leaf cleanup last fall or a fall cleanup. So always walk your sites. Something I love to do. and. Does it take time? Absolutely, but do we have sticks? We have branches. All of this is just covered in leaves, which is crazy. All right, so just looking at some of the backside of the property here, all this stuff, leaves, we wanna make sure that we're vacuuming up, cleaning. Uh, all these pine needles are gonna be a ton to suck up. Beautiful stripes over here on this other piece of property. We wanna get that looking like this, or this looking like that. And then let me show you guys over here. Another big section, I want to clean up all this as well. Uh, it's going to take some TLC, but I want to make sure we're just walking the sites, man. It's the biggest thing I can say on this video is walk the sites. So here's just another really quick example. All of this, you would just imagine we're going to mow, right? Uh, and we could, uh, but at the same point, we want to make sure that all of this gets cleaned up. All these pine needles, pine cones, all this mess, raking it leaf clean up, sucking it up, debris loader, whatever we want to do. We actually probably just run the debris loader curbside, which would be nice. Um, but this is uh, another yard of just waste. Pine needles and pine cones, all that mess, or, you know, half a yard. But we got to pay for dump fees, our time, all that mess. So if I just Google Earth it, Google mapped it, right, uh, I wouldn't see all this stuff. And by the way, this is all the way down this whole boulevard. This is all the way down the boulevard, you guys can see. Uh, so we got to make sure that if we're doing a spring cleanup, Hey, spring cleanup, three, four hundred bucks. Uh, try doubling that if we're sucking up all this mess the whole way down. Here's just another quick shot. Now you can see on the other side, the other company, they have all cleaned up, which means this has kind of been neglected a little bit. So we want to make sure that we're factoring all this. And this is like two inches deep of just pine needles, leaves, uh, cones, trash, the whole, all the debris, right? So it's going to be a lot. And the squirrel, we're going to leave him out. He's a, we're not going to charge to clean him up. He gets to run free. Uh, but all pine needles, look at I was plowing and that big pile of uh, needles, pine needles, suck all that up. All right, so we're up here and this is other stuff that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, and this is kind of common sense stuff, but uh, I was just actually talking to the guy here, really cool dude. And uh, like the last company wasn't doing any fall cleanup work. All right, so all these leaves, everything caked back here. Uh, of course, looking at the mulch bed, like accessibility. Can we just dump and pour or do we have to... We'll build it over and then rake it over. And is it detail work? That's just, just some of the stuff. 
you know, you could do a mulch install for 125 a, uh, a yard, or it can be a buck 75 a yard. It just depends, you know, what kind of access you have. Um, over here, same thing. Just looking at these beds, just caked with leaves the whole way down, right? So, in this, uh, all these trees, right? Are these mulched or not mulched? Hard to tell on Google Earth. So I guess the, the moral of this story is, don't just go by Google Earth, go visit your sites. But all this is leaves, all's gotta get cleaned up, raked up, once it's unfrozen. <laughs> so let's go walk around, see what else we got. While we were here, I was already talking to the guy. He's like, hey, definitely quote us for some tree work. Well, we'll take that. Um, I usually sub out all tree work and pruning work to a subcontractor friend of mine who does a great job. Um, but I'm gonna link them up together and already said, hey, we got a guy solving problems frozen ice all right so this is all grass i just want to make sure like nothing's mulched uh all this is just going to be a pain in the butt to do leaf cleanup i hate this like ground ivy ground cover stuff what is this uh use or whatnot uh so all this is leaves you can tell it's just frozen under here it's all matted so again like this leaf cleanup could be three four five hundred dollars for a site and then you start looking around there's leaves in the whole park a lot all this i was telling the guy like your leaf cleanup is gonna be two three acts he's like no we get it he goes we're, we're kind of expecting that because the last company didn't do a spring or fall cleanup all right guys well i'm back over here at another commercial site and we're putting the quote together a whole mess like my contractor clipboard by the way it got smashed in the back seat <laughs> not so good um so as i'm going through here uh just a couple things to look out i'm gonna go walk this property with you guys this is the uh, second commercial site that i'm looking at today so as i'm looking through this whole site i'm gonna take you guys with us um you're just kind of looking out it's not just like all the turf that we're trying to measure and all the mulch beds we're trying to measure right we're trying to also keep an eye on like problem areas and just like extra waste and extra debris anyway let me take you with us i'm trying to take some notes as i go and uh, let me show you guys this uh, site really quick all right so for example looking at this whole like boulevard speed bump that's all grass that's got to get mowed all this is stuff too like who's taking care of all this on the back side of the building right Looking at the leaves, where can we dump? Where can we, haul, where do we have to haul away? Out and about, looking at the whole turf area here, just seeing what we got behind the building, right? Don't want anything to be hiding. Uh, leaf cleanup, you know, all this mess. And then as we walk around, you know, there's mulch beds everywhere. We can use our mapping software and tools to uh, tag this all up and see what these beds are gonna measure out. I'm trying not to get the business name over here, but uh, we gotta measure all this. And I usually do this on, uh, uh, yard book with their mapping tool, but I just want to make sure like are these trees mulched or not? It's hard to tell from You know Google and all that mess So another thing too like we're looking at the parking lot All oh, this is gonna get leaf cleaned up and sucked up and raked up all these beds got to get pruned out Just seeing if they've been done before This little hellcat So here's another interesting one same thing with commercial properties like is this flat or is this a, uh, a berm? Is it a divot, right? So this whole thing is just gonna cake up water in the spring and be hard to mow, which is okay. But on Google Earth, it might just look flat, right? Top down. Uh, but this can kind of vary the pricing and what we wanna charge, right? Just another angle over here, looking at this huge uh, you know, divot and berm or whatever you call it. All this has gotta get cleaned up. So just trying to see what the price to clean up for. Right now, like I said, we're, I said this on other videos, like a buck 75 for two man team for our leaf cleanups per hour. Just looking at this stuff here, making sure that I can get around all that with a mower or if we're trimming, it's gonna take time. Another thing here, just looking at all the mulch beds, what needs to get pruned, how the pruning looks, is it overgrown or not? There's just things I try to look out for. Uh, they got a lot of day lilies here that all gotta get pulled once they're not frozen anymore. See if they wanna get the bed redefined and edged, uh, all the edging around the uh, entrances and whatnot, stick edging, gotta factor that all in. Here's another example, right? So this bed, three yards of mulch, you're like, oh, it's just a small bed, but you know, just to do the leaf cleanup, all this mess, three more yards of mulch, you miss this, you're missing out on $300 of retail, $100 at cost and another 70 in labor, whatever it is. Um, but this is the exact kind of stuff we wanna walk around and make sure that we're checking out. Is this an active bed or what do they wanna do here? Obviously they probably want this mulch remulched so this is a prime example of walking through a property and making sure that you're taking notes on everything right uh there's no right or wrong answer as you go through these bids and you know the, 
the right answer is make sure you do it profitably. Uh, on our contract, I don't know if you guys can see, you can get them at launchpreneuracademy.com. It's 50 bucks for a template. Um, if you guys are bidding commercial work, super popular uh, template. Um, but you know, for mowing, we're at 75 to 90 an anchor. Uh, weeding for my landscape beds, about $75 an hour. Uh, mulch install, we're probably at 125 uh, 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 yard installed, including labor this year. Spring cleanup, like I said uh, earlier, 175 an hour for uh, two guys, so per hour. Um, same thing with fall cleanup. Flowers, no flowers here. Uh, flats of flowers. I'm not really good at flower uh, prices. What do you guys flower prices? Let me know in the comments. And then fertilizing, I gotta catch up with Bedell because fertilizing is, uh, a lot of it, it's up 20, 30% this year. And then irrigation startups and blowouts, um, about 125, 145 bucks typically. Uh, and then Bedell charges me about 100 to do those, whatever. A little bit of um, markup on that. For mowing, like I, I think I said earlier, about 75 to 90 an hour is what I'm, I'm sorry, 75 to 90 an acre is what we're trying to get. Um, so this whole site, I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna measure this all out uh, with uh, Yardbook and their mapping software. Uh, or you can use Google Earth or you know pick your CRM and whatever you guys are doing. Um, I'm gonna submit all this, put it on the contract, scan it in, email it back to the decision maker uh, person. Uh, so this is site number two. Is this helping you guys out a little bit? I'm trying to bid these together with you guys. One thing I didn't capture just now, the guys are loading up all the trucks. All the loading bays over here that, you know, uh, crevice where all the, the water drains to, the, the drainage, it's all caked with leaves. There's nothing but leaves a foot deep, you know, I don't know, 60 feet long. So that's, a, you know, half hour, uh, maybe an hour of leaf cleanup right there that we got to tag up. So those are all things you want to keep in mind as you're tagging up these sites and you're like, oh, spring clean up 350 bucks, 575 bucks, whatever. But look around. Are you going to be sucking up a bunch of wet leaves out of a drain system? <laughs> uh, if so, make sure you charge for that because it's going to be a pain in the butt. Plus, this is a big commercial site, a lot of trucks in and out, right? So, all right, this is helping you guys out. If so, a big thumbs up. I super appreciate the love. And uh, that's what I'm doing on my uh, very productive Thursday afternoon.